as clouds of black smoke billowed into the air Tuesday morning. Fire crews worked to save the popular seafood restaurant Cajun Critters. As the fire progressed and began to burn away, the, the, the there's two roofs on that side of the building. As it burned the uh, bottom side of the structure, the, the whole thing just came in. Firefighters worked for over an hour to contain the two alarm fire that caused the roof of the building to collapse and many loyal customers devastated. Because it's locally owned. It's, uh, it's, it's our people. It's from here. It's uh, from Homa. And that means a lot for our businesses here. We come hang out and, uh, for Mardi Gras and special occasions and all. And Mardi Gras season's coming up, so it's going to be closed. Nah, I think they melted. Al Marmon came by Tuesday afternoon, hoping to salvage some of the memories unscathed by the fire. All these little heirlooms. In fact, uh, I had got my eye surgery done in 2010, and they gave me some little eyeballs, and I had stuck them on the wall, and I wanted to go look and see if they had melted or anything. We've suffered a lot of losses lately because of the economy. Um, we've had a lot of our family-owned restaurants closed down, so this is just another one that that's going to be lost, and it's definitely going to impact our community. As restaurant manager Tori Laurent examines what remains of Cajun Critters, she says the restaurant owners are losing a lot more than just a business. It was a home. It was a home because, the, you know, it, it, all the things that he held dearly, he had in there, family heirlooms and pictures. And so, yes, it's definitely devastating.